Next we need to talk about reciprocals and this term reciprocal is a mathematical term that you should know and it's not hard but it's very important. The reciprocal of a number is simply 1 over that number so this is really easy. The reciprocal of 8 is just 1 over 8 and remember that the fraction bar means division so the reciprocal of 8 is 1 divided by 8 and the reciprocal of 3 is 1 divided by 3 so pretty easy but look at this look, take take note of one thing here 8 remember this number 8 is the same thing as 8 over 1 so the reciprocal of 8 over 1 is just 1 over 8 and the same thing over here 3 this 3 right here could be written as 3 over 1 and so the reciprocal of 3 over 1 is 1 over 3 and that concept applies to fractions in general. So look at this next idea. The reciprocal of a fraction is simply the fraction inverted. So you just flip it over. The, re the reciprocal of 5 thirds is 3 fifths. The reciprocal of 2 over 9 is 9 over 2. And it works that way with every single fraction. The reciprocal of a fraction will be that fraction with the numerator and denominator flipped. And then note that a number multiplied by its reciprocal is always 1. So here's 3 and the reciprocal of 3 is 1 third. Those two will multiply together to equal 1. And you can see that if you remember that the 3 is 3 over 1 and that these reduce. You see this, uh, this 3 and this 3 would cancel out and just become 1. So 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 over 1 is just 1. The same thing will happen with these other fractions as well. Whenever you multiply a number by its reciprocal, you get 1. Once again, here this 4 could be thought of as 4 over 1. And then this 4 is in the numerator and that one's in the denominator and those reduce and you just end up with 1 for an answer. Same thing down here, 2 ninths times 9 halves, the 2 ninths times 9 halves will just be 1. Anytime you have a number and its reciprocal multiplied together you get 1 and you can see that if you reduce them. The 2's reduce and the 9's reduce so we're just left with 1's we get 1. 1 times 1 is 1 or 1 over 1 is 1. But remember this, anytime a number is multiplied by its reciprocal you end up with 1. Now I said that understanding reciprocals is important and knowing what they are and a little bit about how to use them will allow us to do division with fractions and will allow us to have problems where, where we deal with a number divided by a fraction such as one fraction divided by a number and it turns out the reciprocals make problems like that a whole lot easier and that's what we will see next.